in his head and his hands and things, a horrible sight. Nails and thorns all through him. And even though she knew she couldn't rescue him, she couldn't relieve the pain. But she stayed there with him. I imagine that it was hard and for a mother to watch and can't do nothing but pray. I say that because in August of 1999, in Fayetteville, North Carolina, I had to attend to watch my son die. I sat there and saw him in pain. Mm -hmm. There was nothing I could do but pray. Yeah. But I thank God for family and friends that were there with me. Yes. My youngest son's pastor at that time, Pastor Floyd, was there. Mm -hmm. And my son told him, take care of my mother. Well, well, well. And Pastor told him, and he said, don't worry about a thing, mother. We're going to be here for you. Mm -hmm. Anything you need while you're in Fayetteville, mm -hmm. you just let us know. Anyway, he told the members in the church, wherever mother got to go, whatever mother need, when she need it, make sure that she gets it. Don't let her want for nothing. Take care of my mother. Mm -hmm. And then pastor's cousin opened her home to me, gave me the keys to her house, and she went out of town. She said, Mother, this is your home while you're here. Amen. Do what you have to do. This, do anything you need is here. Mm -hmm. I thank God because... Yes. Pastor Floyd was my John mm -hmm. while I was there watching my son die. Wow. Couldn't do nothing but pray. Mm -hmm. Yes, son. Mm -hmm. Then I believe that one day, even though he couldn't talk, he said it in his heart because he was an humble child. Mm -hmm. He was like Jesus. And he said, Lord, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he yeah. went on home to be with the Lord. Amen. We go through these things because the Bible says, 